Michael was such a happy kid growing up. He'd always laugh and play. Michael was a cool guy, the kind of person everyone wants to be around, you know? Michael was a good student, good permanent record, good grades. Then, about six months ago, he started to change. And then he just stopped wanting to hang out with us. Never saw him after school. Attendance drops, failing English, detention three times a week. Michael was a good boy. That kid that's in that room now is not my son. My name's Michael, and I'm a solitaire addict. When you win a hand in solitaire, the brain releases a wave of endorphins. Over time, the brain adapts to these higher levels, which make it harder to achieve the highs that you would usually get. I was bored one day after school, and you know, so I thought I'd play a hand. I. It all just seems so harmless, and you win a few hands, and you get this high. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. My mom's worried about me, but it's not like I'm hurting anyone. Why can't they understand this? No, I'm not fussed about my grading. I'm sure I'll finish my schooling. My addiction isn't going to ruin my life. It's just a bit of fun. Where's the harm in that? What I'm really worried about is what this could lead to. I mean, it starts with solitaire, but that's just a gateway game. Before you know it, there's poker, hearts. He could be a minesweeper. At first, it was just a game or two after school, but now I'm sneaking out of my bed in the middle of the night to play games. I'm taking cards everywhere I go. Make no mistake, solitaire ruins lives. I'll admit it now, I have a serious problem, but I can't stop, I have to keep feeding the addiction. Solitaire completely, he failed his VCE because he couldn't concentrate. I can't even hold a job anymore. My last job was three months ago, it lasted two weeks. I, I couldn't let him play games all through on company time, so I had to let him go. Welcome to my house. Kitchen area, living area, dining room. The way I see it, he's completely unemployable. It's hard to afford an apartment when you're unemployed. No, I don't think it's harsh. He has a real problem. And the only way he's gonna deal with it is by being out of this house and at rock bottom. Go what you need. Hey, get the camera, get the camera out of here. Hi, uh, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Michael. And um, I'm a, re a recovering solitaire addict. I, uh, I've been undealt for a year now. I am so happy to have my little boy back. I still don't know what I'm gonna do for a job, but at least I have somewhere to sleep now. I just didn't realize how many people I was hurting, least of all myself. Solitaire ruined my life. My employability options are slim at the best, and I hurt a lot of people that I love. I just, I just don't want to go back to that. Thank you for sharing, Michael. Now I'd like to introduce a guest speaker who recently kicked his addiction. He'd like to talk to you about this dangerous game. Hello, my name's Michael, and I used to be a solitaire addict, but now I've kicked my habit. And I'm in control of my own life again. <laughs>